One of the stories of the season has been the whirlwind success of Sylvester de Souza. After nearly five months here in Hong Kong, though, he's getting ready to return back to the UK. Here's what's coming up on HK Direct this week. We'll be hearing from the three-time British champion jockey himself about his time this season in Hong Kong and about what the future may hold. Since being based at Sha Tin from the early part of November, De Souza has ridden 42 winners, including big race successes on Glorious Forever and Eagle Way. Those 42 wins have placed him in fourth spot on the Premiership, which is quite remarkable, really. I caught up with the Brazilian jockey at Happy Valley on Wednesday night prior to racing. Well, Sylvester, thanks for joining us. 42 wins, fourth in the jockey's title at this stage of things, even though you missed the first two months of this uh, season. You must be wrapped with the way this stint in Hong Kong has gone for you. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, and it's just sometimes I pinch myself and, you know, it just has been a fantastic season. You know, a couple of group races and my belt as well. So, and <clears throat> with all the support I got from the, all the trainers, you know. Let's get to those group races later on, but we'll start off with what you've achieved in a more general sense. You've come here before on two occasions, 16 wins in each of those two winter stints. Have you exceeded your own expectations by how well you've gone this time in? Yes, uh, my expectation was just to ride probably just a bit more than what I have done, you know? But, uh, you know, but things just went strength by strength and, you know, and off, like, I think I done better than what I thought. Financially as well for you too, you'd come into this stint in Hong Kong on the back of a championship winning year in the UK, but you earned more in your first seven weeks here in Hong Kong than what you did in the whole season in the UK. It's obviously very rewarding to be able to come over here and ride. Yes, absolutely. You know, and <clears throat> here, here in Hong Kong is a dream of a place of every jock wants to ride in Hong Kong one day. And I've been very lucky. I got the opportunity to come here them three times. So I'm always going to be grateful for the opportunity the Hong Kong Jockey Club has given to me. But it's an amazing place, you know, and it's very tough. You need to have a lot of talent and you need to know what you're doing. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of pressure and a lot of dedication of yourself. But uh, I think Hong Kong race is the hardest place to ride a winner is and, you know. You mentioned those things, the pressure, how hard it is, the dedication that you need to put in. Those two previous stints, did they help you to prepare for all of those things this time around? Yes, absolutely. You know, when I came for the first time and I felt I was a bit green and a bit with my head in the air, you know, and second time was better. But when I left home this time and I thought, I said, I'm going to grab the, ho the ball by the horns, you know, I'm going to try my best and I'm going to put my best effort. And I did, you know, and I wish I could stay a bit longer, but uh, this couple of opportunities at home has come and across, so I decided to take it. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a very unique place, Hong Kong. Was it tempting? Was it a tough decision for you to decide, given you're doing so well here, fourth in the championship behind the likes of Zach Pert and Joe Marrera? Was it tough to decide to leave here to go back home? Yes, it's very tough, you know, when you... You know, a home is very, very hard on jockeys. Like we have to travel every day if you want to succeed. And I put a lot of effort in. And when you come to this place to get the best ride and ride against one of the best jockeys around, you know, the best Australian jockey probably, you know, Zach and, you know, Joe, one of the top riders around the world. So it's, uh, you have to put yourself in a place and when you look at my background, I, have, I feel I have to prove I am as good as them, you know? Let's talk about some of the highlights. Glorious forever, the Hong Kong Cup. You'd gone close in big races here in Hong Kong before. Tell us about that race. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's just... For me, in probably will be a race for a lifetime, you know? And, you know, I, I really was one to win that race and I went out there with the determination to win the race and everything pay off, you know. I rolled the race a 1-2 and, uh, and uh, like they would say, in that particular race he was one of the best horse in the day. Glorious forever, fends off his brother, it's like an old back 
yards douse between Glorious Forever and Time Warp. Deirdre late, Glorious Forever. What a day for Frankie Law. Leading into Glorious Forever's win in the Hong Kong Cup, you won the International Jockeys Championship here at Happy Valley. Again, something that you'd gone close in before. You not only won, you broke the record for the amount of points a winner's ever collected in that series. <laughs> yes, you know, and it's a funny way, and that's the nice thing for... Uh, I will never forget as well. Bank on red flashing home. Sylvester de Souza looking for the championship and he's got it. Experto Crede takes the final leg. It's a great achievement for me, you know, riding against the best jocks in the world, uh, like Ryan Moore, Joe Moreira and Zach and Hugh Bowman and the other contenders as well, you know, from Japan. And it's uh, it was just an amazing moment for me, you know, and I think the whole world was stopping watching and I just was very concentrated on what I was doing. I wasn't thinking about smiling, about thinking one race. I was thinking about the, all the rides I had, you know. So that was the best what you could see I could ride. So it's been nearly five months, the duration of this stint here in Hong Kong. Sunday at Sha Tin is your last meeting. How do you feel that it's all coming to an end this time in? I feel a bit sad to leave, <laughs> to be honest, you know. And but uh, you know, I, I I feel I could have a nice card out, you know. I want to have a full book of rides so for the night. It will be my last night. Uh, I will I will try my best, and I hope to get a winner. If it doesn't come in, like and you know, I hope to come back and here in beginning of October if it's possible, and you know, start everything again. Beyond Sunday, after you leave Hong Kong, what happens to you? What are your future plans beyond Sunday? Uh, go back to England and uh, I signed up with King Power now. I'm a retainer by King Power. So, and the expectation is to ride a group winner for them, for my job. You know, I want to, to do well for them and, you know, we have a hundred horses. So, it's a lot of things to look forward to. You know, we've got a lot of three-year-olds coming on racing and, you know, got a couple of old horses just turned to three now, or four now as well. So, you know, I think it could be a big year for me. And, you know, I hope to be exciting. You know, I never expect to have a quiet year, you know. So you mentioned excited to come back here. The jockey's dynamics here in Hong Kong are, all, are always changing, even in this stint. You've had Douglas White retiring, Joe Marrera returning. Could we get a, another change in the future with Sylvester de Souza becoming a full-time jockey in Hong Kong? Yes, and um, I love to. I love to, and, you know, the reasons um, couldn't be this time because, you know, I have... When I left England, I have kind of half agreement and with, with King Power, so we come to agreement, so I signed up for two years, but is is the thing I love to do one day before I'm finished. And I love to have a bit of time in Hong Kong, full time. Life's changed for you away from racing to this stint here in Hong Kong. Congratulations on the birth of a third baby as well. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, it's amazing. So, uh, wife is doing well at home. So, and baby's in good health. So, now is, uh, so I need to work a bit more hard now. And we wish Sylvester and his family all the very best. Hopefully we'll see him back riding here on Champions Day at the end of April. If not, then we look forward to seeing him back here next season. His contract here in Hong Kong ends on Sunday where he'll ride at Sha Tin. He's got eight rides, including the mount on at the promising right choice in the Kowloon Cricket Club Centenary Cup, which is the feature race on a 10-race card coming up. Trackside live coverage commences at 12.15. We're also simulcasting the Takamatsunomiya Kinnan, one of the big sprint races in Japan that's due at 2.40. As well as the Sha Tin card, we're also racing at Chungfa in mainland China for the first time ever on Saturday. The first race is at 2.30. We'll be covering the meeting from that point on with a 15 minute delay. You can watch it if you're in Hong Kong on J2 or on channels 18 and 603 on cable. And you can go to the website for all of the replays and also to social media for all things that's going on here in Hong Kong racing. But that's it for the show this time around. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.